Amen. Amen. The book of Romans, the fourth chapter. We're going to start at the 16th verse. Read a couple of verses here. And the word of the Lord reads, Therefore it is of faith that might be by grace to the end of the promise, might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. Amen. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God who put in the dead, yes. and called those things which be not as though they were, yes. whom against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. And when he when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb, he staggered not at the promise of God through yeah. unbelief, but, yeah. but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, uh, he was also able to perform. Yeah. Uh, verse number 19 said that being not weak in faith, uh, Verse 20 said that he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. Yes. And verse number 21 says he was fully persuaded yes. that what he had been promised, he was able to perform. For the next couple of minutes, if you will, look at your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, yes. I'm standing on the promise. I'm standing on the promise. Yeah, I'm standing on the promise. I'm standing on the promise. Yes. On the promise. What is a promise? What is a promise? A promise uh, is a pledge or is an agreement that has been made uh, either verbally or, 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 or and written down. And sometimes in life, uh, it's happened to you, it's happened to me. Uh, people have made us promises and we've made promises. And uh, some promises have been made, some promises have been broken. Uh, but what happens is when somebody says, I promise to you, what that does is uh, for some odd reason, it gives us uh, a little bit more hope and a little bit more faith that what the person is saying uh, is going to really happen. Uh, and so when the person doesn't fulfill the promise that he has made and the promise uh, that they were supposed to keep what happens is uh, you lose faith and you lose trust in that person or in the promise uh, and that's what happens in life the devil is coming to, to make us try and lose faith and lose hope on God uh, that say that what the promises that God has made us uh, he will not bring us to pass uh, but how many know that the devil is a liar uh, yet the Bible says that the devil come to steal kill and destroy uh, but Jesus made us a promise that he come that he might have life and that we're having more of a belief. And so what we need to do is learn how to trust and believe in God. We have to have faith for the Bible says that the just shall live by faith. And without faith it's impossible to please God. And so what we need to do is believe in God. As we see in our text, as we see in our text, Abraham was made a promise. Verse number 16 that says, therefore it was a faith. It was a faith that might be by grace to the end of the promise to be sure to all the seed, uh, not to only which of the law, but also which is of the faith of Abraham. Uh, Abraham was made a promise, uh, but he wasn't made a promise because of his words. Uh, he was made the promise because of his faith. Uh, he was made the promise because of his faith. Uh, and, and, and sometimes we, we think that God, uh, that said something's going to happen for us, uh, and we think because there's someone in front of us, uh, or there's someone next in line, uh, that the promise that God made is not going to come to pass. Uh, but how many know that God doesn't need nobody's agreement? Huh? God don't need you to tell him what's going on. Huh? God can step over the person in front of you huh? and promote you. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Huh? Somebody was working on that job and somebody was supposed to get the promotion. Huh? But for some reason, the Lord allowed them to get sick the week the promotion was supposed to be given. Huh? And you were right there in line. Huh? God, that's what we gotta believe God through faith. Huh? Yeah, we gotta believe him through faith. You can't doubt. Huh? You cannot doubt Abraham. Huh? He was justified through his faith. Huh? Yeah, yeah, he was justified through his faith. Huh? He wasn't justified about his own, his own goodness huh? or because he was so righteous, huh? but because he believed in God. Huh? The Bible said in verse 19 and 20 huh? that he staggered not. Huh? He staggered not at the promise of God huh? and that he gave God glory. Huh? Yes, yeah, so no matter what, I'm almost done. Don't worry. Huh? No matter what happens, huh? you got to keep your faith in God. Huh? Yeah, you stand on the promises of God. Huh? Don't worry. Just hold on to God change in hand, huh? and he'll bring everything to pass. Huh? You will not stand on the promise of God. Huh? You stand on what your mama told you. Huh? You stand on what your daddy told you. Huh? Why do you know how to trust and believe on oh God? Huh? Matthew 16, 18 says, huh? upon this rock I'll build my church. Huh? And 
in the gates of hell shall not prevail against him. Huh? Well, well, what did what did that scripture apply? Huh? Because he said, "On this rock I'll build my church." Huh? Well, what is the rock? Huh? Jesus is the rock. Huh? And because Jesus is the rock, guess what? Huh? Jesus is also my promise. Huh? So the Bible says huh, that behold, I go away to prepare you a place. Huh? That where I am, He may be also. Huh? Well, he said that I also lay down my life. Huh? So if I lay it down, I have the power. Huh?